Welcome back. So, as promised, we're now going to put some walls up for our room. We're only going to do the back walls so that we can see into the room, which will make it a little bit easier for navigation. And we're going to create the wall from a cube. So the last time we created a polygon primitive, we did it from the create menu. But we've got this poly modeling shelf open and we can see that there are some shapes there waiting for us just saying, hey, would you like to create one of me? And my answer is yes. Yes, Mr. Cube, I would like to create one of you. So we're going to do that by just clicking on the cube icon from the shelf. And what this does is creates us a new cube at the origin, which is 0, 0, 0 on your grid. As I've already stated, I would like you to get into the habit of naming things as quickly as possible. So now that we've created this and we know it's going to be the wall, we're going to name it wall. There we go. Next, what we'll do is just put on our scale tool and we are going to resize it. So it's going to be this wall here that we're putting in. And so if we resize it on the X axis, which is what I'm doing here, we're just going to decide on what we want the thickness of our wall to be. So I think that thickness should be plenty. It might even be a bit too much. Let's bring it in a bit. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is just scale it on the Z axis to get it roughly where I want it for the length of the wall. But to get it to the exact size that we want, we're going to cheat a little bit. And we'll do that by moving into vertex mode and moving the vertices into place. So we're going to make sure that these vertices line up perfectly with this vertex here. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on my shape. This brings up what's called the marking menu, and it gives us some options related to what we have selected. And I would like to put this into vertex mode. So I've still got my right mouse button held. And when I release on one of these options, it will do that. And then you can see that as I mouse over, it shows me that I can select vertices. So what I'll do is just do a marquee selection, click and drag, and that's going to select the ones on the top, the ones on the bottom, everything on this side. And now I'm going to switch to our move tool, which is this one here, or W on the keyboard. And just like with the scale tool, we can work in different axes. So we've got the Y axis going up and down, Z is going backwards and forwards, and X is going side to side. And what we can do here is just move these vertices. So you can see this side's being left alone and we can move these and try and get them in line. But the real super duper trick that we're gonna to do to get this, to make sure it perfectly lines up with the edge of this is something called snapping. You've got some snapping options up here. You can snap to the grid points, you can snap to curves, you can snap to vertices. Um, I want to do a vertex snap. So to do that, I'm gonna press and hold V on my keyboard and you will see that that highlights up here which kind of snapping I'm gonna use and then just move it on the axis that I want it to move on. So you can see, as soon as I do that, it will only snap to where there are already vertices. So it's snapped to that one there. And then I'll repeat that process on this side. So select all of the verts, hold V, and then just move it so that it moves out to where it should be. That wall is now perfectly sized. Now that we've finished our first foray into component mode, in this case, the component was vertices. We're going to just right click on the shape again and go back into object mode. And now with the move tool on, we're going to move it towards the back of the room. And the final thing that we'll do is just try with the scale tool to get some height on our wall. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So that then is our first wall constructed from a polygon cube. We have created it, we've resized it, we've made sure that it perfectly lines up with our floor using vertex mode, and then we've put it in place and given it a bit of height. The next step is gonna be all about duplicating this wall so that we've got the other back wall. Duplicating is good. We don't need to make and resize one of these cubes again, so we'll take the lazy way or the, the more efficient way to create our second wall. So I will see you in the next step for that. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.